Friday. Today is our 76th show, the 3rd of July. Tomorrow's the 4th of July, and we aren't going anywhere. Neil and I and a friend of ours always travels this weekend, and we're traveling to home. So, uh, but tomorrow I'm going to be on the radio on an ABC station, no, AM station out of Los Angeles. It's on the website. You can see that. But uh, before we keep going, I'd like to welcome Neil, is going to be doing camera and then later on we'll uh, have him eat a hamburger because we're going to do hamburgers. Today is kind of special because I came across my old five minute segments that I did with Mike and Maddie in 1998. We filmed it in May. It was so cold. They were putting ice in our mouth so we wouldn't uh, uh, fog when we talked. They had me in shorts and a short sleeve shirt and an apron. And between takes, we had sweatshirts to wear, and it was freezing cold. So what we're going to do first is we're going to show you that, so you can see that, and then we're going to get on with our show. So enjoy. A beautiful view. Steve, turn around and get a look. This is the Santa Monica coastline. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. That, I love it. Which uh, reminds me, three more days until our beach show. That's Friday. We'll be down in Malibu at our beach house. Cool. About uh, 15 miles up from here. But right now, we're going to be barbecuing. It's yeah. 4th of July. you got to be barbecuing. we got great tips coming up. George Geary is waiting for us down at the end of the pier. So we made it to Santa Monica Pier just in time for lunch. And, of course, everybody knows that 4th of July is famous for barbecues. And here with tips for great grilling is our grilling friend, George Geary. Hi, Mary. Hello. Good to you see made you. It. I know. I love this. Do huh? you? Yeah. Very cute. I love this. I'm, I'm like dying to eat every single thing on there. Well, here. <laughs> most girls do not do the grilling. The men do it. Actually, my, my brother is a great griller, and so is my husband. It's always the guys. You yeah. send them out to do the grilling. Because for one day out of the year, they should cook. Well, that's true, but I'm going <laughs> to teach you how to do it. Okay. okay. Now, what's the first thing we need to know when we're starting a barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> the I main the thing, yeah, the main thing is your coals. So many people have the coals on. And uh, you need to start them about 45 minutes before you're going to start barbecuing. Really? So you need to plan a little bit. Okay. Then you don't want the flame to be going. So um, you want to uh, cool it down a little bit. So about 45 minutes. And then some people have gas. And you want to do a low setting on those. And then some people even have uh, lava rocks. And you want to warm the lava rocks up. So that's okay. what you're trying to do. So we've got it 45 minutes before. We're getting ready. And what are the most common problems that we should look for? Too hot a heat. So many okay. people start the barbecue right ahead away and they want their burgers done so quickly so right. we want to uh, watch the heat I'm gonna teach you how to watch your heat uh, okay. put your hand over okay and you count 1001 1002 1003 1004 okay. and about four to six inches away and if you don't have to pull away your hand then it's ready to go Okay, well, I didn't have to pull it away, so it looks like it's they're ready. It's ready to go. These things are barbecuing nicely. Yeah, they've been barbecuing for a little bit. Also, another thing is people put sauce, barbecue sauce on their meat. Mm -hmm. Well, if you put it on right at the beginning, it's going to burn because it's mostly sugar. So what right. you want to do is put that on about three-fourths of the way into the cooking process. Right, so almost when you think it's almost ready, just dab it on. Right, dab it on just to get flavor. And smother it, it's right, like, just lightly. Right. Because otherwise it becomes really, uh, there's a big thing happening down there then. <laughs> and then we start getting uh, a lot of uh, smoke and all sorts of different problems. Okay. So now some of this, this meat is already done, but how do we know that it's done? What Especially chicken, which to me is a tough one. Chicken's a problem. Chicken, what you want to do is seven to ten minutes on each side. Seven minutes on one side, turn it over, and then another seven minutes. You want to make sure with chicken, you don't have any pink showing at all. You right. can cut into it a little bit just to see if there's any pink or not. There's pink in there. It has, this has a little bit, so we've still got a little bit more. See, it's so deceiving because you think, oh, it's nice and brown on right. the outside. And I've, and then on I've the cut inside. into chicken so many times, and it's like, okay, back on the grill. That's where another problem is, is people use... Um, you should use boneless chicken. Some people use with uh, the bones, and it takes a lot longer, and the bones will brown and, and look like it's burnt. So these are boneless fillets. So then there's seven on each side for About boneless, but with bones? It'll How take a, a little bit longer, but okay. it'll look burnt almost. Then okay. hot dogs are very quick. They're only oh, three, please. 
I, those are quickies. Th those are three <laughs> to five minutes. They burn so quick. And then if you have a large steak, depending on if you want it rare, medium mm -hmm. rare, nine minutes on each side. If you want a little bit uh, more done, you want about 16 minutes. I then want our, 30 minutes on each side. You, you like everything charcoal? Oh, yeah. Charcoal biscuit? <laughs> That's, that's how my dad eats his. He, he wants it charcoal. And that's with uh, burgers. This is turkey burgers, which I really like to eat a lot of different uh, types of meat with turkey. I you, love turkey burgers. You can add herbs into it. Mm -hmm. So when you grind, have your meat ground, take some uh, fresh herbs, chop them up, and put them into the meat. How about for the, for the uh, regular meat burgers? You know, it's really great, and people think you're a gourmet cook, mm -hmm. is you take uh, blue Will cheese. they really, George? They sure will. <laughs> <laughs> Take a little blue cheese a long shot. and put it in the middle, and then uh, when it bakes and you open, um, oh, open so like it up, it, it oozes out. Oh, it melts So you in put it right way. in the center. So how much, like for, for patty, let's say? Uh, just like a two tablespoons of blue mm -hmm. cheese. Put it right in the middle. Hey, look, well, hey, hey. look what I just invented. It's about time. Yeah. It's a special Yeah. Yeah, watch. That's my turkey burger, my Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's just oh. the way I like it. On That's fire. That's the way I like it. 30 minutes on each side. Mmm. Good. Yummy. Hey, mm -hmm. and we're going to cook some up mm -hmm. for everybody, huh? Yeah. We'll take some extra bacon. We'll be right back. So how'd you like that? What happened was, is when I, if I recall, I, I have 24 still pictures. Neil was out there. That was the only time you went out on a Mike and Maddie shoot. Right. And uh, they asked me to do it. They said, oh, you normally do pastry, but could you do barbecue? And I said, well, all right. And they said, you're going to have to do the barbecue show. And I knew nothing about barbecuing. What was funny about it is that show was at 9 o'clock. And back east, a friend of mine saw it and was calling. And it was real early in the morning, laughing hysterically because he knew I did not know how to barbecue. Since then, I have learned to barbecue. That was 1998. But how you do that on television when you don't know what you're talking about, you make it look like you do. And what I do is I give the top five or the top 10 questions to the segment producer and they feed it to Maddie or Mike. And then they ask me the questions, I already know the answers. So that's kind of how they do it. And even like Jay Leno's show and, and Johnny Carson, stuff like that, you wonder, how in the world did they do that? Well, they already know the questions they're going to be asking. So it's a, the set thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, hamburgers. We're going to do uh, turkey herb burgers. And we're going to do a uh, blue cheeseburger, some that were on the grill. And then we're going to make Thousand Island dressing or the secret sauce. So let's do that first. And uh, Thousand Island Dressing was the ranch of the 50s and 60s. Now, you remember our pickles from a couple weeks ago? Here they are, they're ready. So, I've got pickles in here, hard boiled egg. A lot of people think uh, Thousand Island Dressing is just ketchup and mayonnaise. And I have mayonnaise, but no ketchup. We've got um, chili sauce. We've got some pimento stuffed olives. And our herbs, which are onion, ooh, parsley, and salt. Black pepper, little lemon juice, and our mayonnaise. Now, I already squeezed that real quick. There we go. And you don't need any pickles. I just want to show you that they work. We're going to put in the food processor. Now, the food processor, when you do this, you can, you need to cut things up a little bit. Put it around the work bowl. Do you want it chunky or would you like it creamy and smooth? Here's our egg that I did ahead. Well, that came out perfect. Put egg on both sides. Mayonnaise without the one seed. I saw it go in there. And all we do is we put all this in here and then we pulse it about 10 times if you want it to be chunky. If you want it to be really nice and fine, you're going to go ahead and uh, let it rip. Keep going. Then all of our spices. And you gotta add that. The pimento olives. I'm gonna chop those up a little bit, put them around. 
and a little bit of salt and pepper. And the pepper, salt will taste afterwards. I'm gonna make this chunky, so I'm gonna pulse it. And I'm gonna look at the consistency. You wanna look at the consistency there, Neil? And you'll see how chunky it looks, but we can uh, make that, uh, you know, kind of smoother, out a bit. smoother. Sometimes you like it chunky. And this is also what they call secret sauce. It goes on burgers. I'm gonna let go. There is our sauce. And this is so good. If you can't have ranch, this is the next best thing. One year at uh, Thanksgiving when I was working on my salad dressing book, I made this and my older sister does not like anything but ranch, but she used to eat this as a kid. And when she tasted it, she wanted the rest of the bottle. So anyway, we're gonna uh, put this in uh, a bowl and we're gonna get onto our burgers next. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back with our Thousand Island dressing or secret sauce. You can add some Tabasco into that too if you want to pump it up a little bit. And um, I toasted the buns already. Just a little olive oil on both sides, put them on the grill. We're going to show you, because you saw the Mike and Maddie show, uh, how we grill some. Um, I don't have a barbecue grill here, and my grill pan does not work on this. So um, it, it isn't magnetic. So I want to show you first how to do. A regular burger which we're just gonna take and salt and pepper that's it and our hamburger itself we don't I've got three burger recipes I've got blue cheese all-american and then I have the um, uh, turkey burger with herbs and it's they're all made the same way so I just want to put this together now use Chuck and you want 80% for this because you want some uh, fat in there. And so I'm gonna take and make it into a ball and then a patty and push it down and keep it as patty-ish as I can. Now I have a scale that I was measuring. These are three ounce pieces of meat uh, of uh, ground beef because the blue cheese we have a six pound this is I mean six ounce this is about six ounce here and this is about six ounce here so we've got two sixes and a third and uh, we just want to keep that as see how our heat's going now I have a chart on the recipes on how long you do the burgers what you want um, if you want them uh, rare medium rare so on so we're gonna put and you have to have a timer on these because you're gonna think that four minutes isn't that long and you're gonna just in your mind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four minutes on one side, turn them over and do four minutes. And then we're gonna turn them back over for two minutes. And the two minutes is when we put the American cheese on it and a lid. We want steam to melt the cheese. And that will be our all-American burger. And uh, we've got the uh, greenery and everything to put on it. So I think you want to hear a sizzle. There you go. So, and the other thing, you don't want while it's cooking to touch them. You just leave them alone. You always see people like pressing down on them and those juices. All that fat and that juice is coming out and you want it in your burger. So keep it like that. Four minutes. Kitchen timer, four minutes. You know, when I travel around the country, there's a microwave all the time, and the only button I really know how to use on these is popcorn. <laughs> and I think they're the most expensive popcorn maker, but I use it mine as a timer. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more herbs. I mean, um, salt and pepper. I gotta get the lid ready because this is the last two minutes. We'll get the lid. Make sure it fits. Whoop. Yeah, that'll fit. So, four, four, two. While we're at, now we're gonna to put together our blue cheeseburger. Now, we, I've seen and we've had them and they aren't very good. 
they have the meat already with the blue cheese all in it and it just doesn't taste good. So what we do is we make two small patties of three ounces each. Those are six ounces each. So this one is two threes. And you make it, you try not to work it too much. Then you're gonna press it down. And then you're gonna form it into, but the other thing you wanna do is, a, I forgot, a little thumbprint in these. By doing the little thumbprint, it helps, I don't know why, it just does it. I've done it without and with. So now we're gonna make the patties a little flatter on this. Neil, you wanna do a close-up for this? Because these are a little different. And then I roll it around to try to get it as circular as possible. Just like that. Then we're gonna take, now this is Point Reyes Blue that I talk about all the time. We're gonna take a little wedge of it, only about maybe a half an ounce, down like that. Place it here, press it down, take this one on top, press it down. Cup your hand to make sure you keep it circular. Just like that. So that will cook the same way as these do. Four, four, and two. Now, if you want it to be rarer, you can do that. But you really make sure, you saw how I put the two uh, pieces of meat together so we uh, don't have any cheese coming out. Now, just in case, because once in a while it happens, if the cheese comes out, you don't worry about it you take it and scoop it up and put it on top and you throw it on the bun. If anybody ever complains about your food, you need to have new family. So I'm gonna take a little pepper, a little salt, and see, 58 seconds left on that. So I will turn them, don't touch it. A lot of people will, you don't do that. Do you do that now? Yeah, you're getting all the juice out and we don't want that. We want the juice to stay in. So uh, after, and four, four, two, 10 minutes total, that's about a medium rare. So you'll have some pink in there, which is fine. And you know what, what I'll do? Oh, when I hit the four minutes, I'll add this one to the pan too. So then it will be off to the side. So I'll know the difference between the two. And um, no, I won't add it because I'm thinking out loud. I got the cheese in there and then I'm gonna steam it a little bit. There's a place called the, uh, I'm trying to think, in New Orleans, the Clover Cafe Diner, and they use an old hubcap. It's an old-fashioned diner, and it's in the French Quarter. Whoop! And let me do the timer for another four minutes. And when you eat there, you want to watch it turn this, watch it turn over. Go. That one split a little bit, but it's okay. Don't press on it. I'll keep saying that. No, no, you like that. So anyway, the Clover Diet has hubcaps from like Pontiacs, and they use that to steam, where I'm using a little bit, a lid. Do you remember that diner? Kind of. It's that little tiny narrow one that's all windows. Huh. It, it's, it's cute. But uh, you normally eat there at four in the morning after you've been... Uh, Drinking getting, and getting beads, getting beads. So anyway, we've got our burgers, and then we have um, just an array of things. You've got uh, different uh, condiments. Sometimes when I do uh, burgers, I like to do a burger bar, and um, just uh, have everybody fix their own. And uh, we're gonna let that go for the four minutes. Got number three, and then what we will do is uh, we'll start cooking our blue cheese. And we'll be right back, because you don't need to stand here and wait. All right, Neil and I waited, so you didn't have to. I'm gonna turn these over one more time. And then I'm going to put the cheese on it. The All-American burgers. Then we're gonna, we've got the timer. 
Go let that sit for a minute and 40 seconds left. And hey, I could tell a story. Mike and Maddie, that, that was so cold that day. And um, it was interesting because it was the first time I ever did a, a on location. And I had to wait on the pier and there were police officers surrounding me. Do you remember the p police that I were there? I remember them. Mm -hmm. They thought I was going to torch the, the pier. And I'm shocked we didn't have the fire department say we could do it. So I'm surprised, you know. So they watched to make sure I was okay. And then um, we had to wait till this float that came down Ocean Boulevard, if you've ever seen Santa Monica. It's the same area where, um, oh, uh, I'm trying to think of uh, Three's Company with the bicycles. So. Ocean Boulevard, we're waiting for it to come down, and then it comes down the pier, and I'm thinking, this is going to, uh, you know, not work, but it worked. We, we did that They looked pretty precarious on that big couch. Yeah, they had the, the couch. Um, yeah. If you, uh, the Mike and Maddie show uh, had a red and white gingham couch, and one day, they didn't have the couch while I was at the studio, and I'm like, and I'm like, I wonder where the couch is. So I asked one of the producers, I said, where's the couch? He says, well, it's in the back. But we're doing segments where it's going on tour on parades. So people would ask for this couch to be on parades. And I thought, well, that was kind of weird. Why is the couch in the back when it's on a parade? So what it was, was they just got a regular couch and put a slip cover over it. They didn't ship the couch anywhere. I thought they were shipping the couch. Alrighty. Oh, whoa, is that good. And that's hot. Look at that. You want to do a close up oh, of that? that. Oh. Yeah. We got to put one there. We got to let those sit for a sec. Wow. It's almost like covered in mustard. It does, doesn't it? But when you do that uh, little bit of throwing it with the steam, it really that's, works well. That's the cheese. Yeah. Let me wipe that out because with some paper towel, I don't want the cheddar to be with the blue. They don't like each other. Plus, there's a little bit of fat. Remember, we have 80%. Normally, I always buy a um, lower fat, but I uh, you want flavor with this. So bring that back up to heat. And again, I think the pan's hot enough. It's hot enough. So we're gonna do four minutes, four minutes and two. So four minutes, wait, kitchen timer first. Whoop, stop, I always do this wrong. Kitchen timer, four minutes. No, I still did it wrong. There we go. I, we've only had it for 20 years. Eh. Okay, so let me fix these two up, and uh, we're going to do the sauce. And remember, this Thousand Island, mm, it's yum. Neil likes lettuce. And beefsteak tomatoes. Get the beefsteak tomatoes so they look really nice on the uh, burgers. Do you like onion? I do. Okay, we're gonna do a thing of onion. So when you take each bite, you get a piece of onion. One little onion, just like that. See, the buns look so small compared to those. Don't those look nice? Beautiful. Okay, we're, we'll get the blue cheese one done. And we are gonna make you stand here and I'm not gonna tell them another story. I could. Nah. So anyway, the ground turkey one is just with some fresh herbs and treat it the same way. Don't over-process it. Do some fresh herbs and chop it really fine, and you'll get a lot of flavor with the turkey also, just because it's not beef. And the turkey doesn't have as much fat. In fact, it hardly has any fat. So you'll really watch to um, don't press on it, because whatever flavor is in it will stay. So we'll be back. Okay, we did our four minutes, four minutes, and two minutes with the woo. And there is our blue cheeseburger. And uh, it separates a little bit because of, you know, the two. Looks good. Just like that. Now this one, the blue cheese, I'm going to cut.
cut so you can see the inside of that blue cheese oozing out. But before I do, let's, uh, okay, so we're gonna cut this so you can see the cheese oozing out. I didn't put the onion or everything else on it because oh, you can see the cheese stays right there. See it there? Go ahead and get close, Neil, so you can see the cheese. Do you see that? I see it. And these are medium rare. If you need it to be more, add a minute on each. Instead of four minutes, do five and five and two. Always two minutes when you put the cheese on. And that's how you do that. The so, camera made it look more rare than it was. Oh, did it? Yeah. It's yeah. not, it's not, it's not as ever. uncooked as it looks. It's, uh, the so, camera made it look. The camera made it look like that. Mm. It's not, uh, well... Our friend that goes on 4th of July with us, Jonathan, he orders stuff while the meat is still moving. And uh, I wonder if I should show the picture of Neil with the tomahawk. Oh. <laughs> Neil ate a huge tomahawk steak when we were in South Dakota. Ah, you're in South Dakota, you got to. Speaking of Neil, Neil is ready for the 4th of July. He's got his shorts on and his t-shirt. Get over here. Since we aren't having a, um, what do you call it, uh, a drink. Right. We've got your burger. So do you yeah. look... Do you look as short next to me on this side? I Probably. should put the box up like Aaron gets. Anyway, we'd like to thank you all so much for the whole week, 4th of July. There was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Keep your masks on. Stay away from the beach because you can't do it this summer. We'll have a huge party next year. Thanks a lot. See you soon.